Hi, this is Abby Artist again. This is sequence to the de to the designing of the baby um, shower letters. It's B A B Y baby. So um, what I did was I painted them white. The letters, some of them were black. Okay. So we're going to do the fun detail now. Let us set up the camera. How's everybody doing today? I hope fine. I hope you love art as much as I do. I'm going to set it up, and here we go. Okay, so I have the B here, and what I'm going to do is I'll show you the colors we have here in the palette. See? Okay, I have the white, and I have the blue, and I have the green. Okay, it's for my um, my son's <clears throat> doing a, a project for my son's uh, girlfriend. She's about to have a, a little boy. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Okay, so I already, I even re-went over the white letters. They were already white. I had two black letters and two white. And what I did was, so they would all be the same white. There are many colors white. It could be ivory. It could be all different. So I wanted them all to be equal. So I painted, and we waited for them to dry. So that's why I stopped the other video, because I don't want you to wait for the drying time. And, um, okay. So what we're going to do is, let me see. She wanted the green, so we're going to. I love the green that, that she liked, the baby green color, see? It's really, really nice, okay? So, there we go. But then I'm thinking I'll just do a little tiny, like that around. Now, you can use masking tape if you want it to be extra perfect with the Zacta knives, if you want to get real professional with it. I've been doing it so long, um, I just kind of wing it now. But that's a, that's a good way to start with the masking tape if you want. If you want it to be extra perfect, straight lines, you can do that, okay? It kind of makes it a cleaner, more professional look. Now with the exact knife, you would just put the masking tape and then cut it where you want. I will have to do that in another video, show you all how to do that. Okay, see? And so, I'm going to do the bottom piece that, that way also. Same exact way. Just down, take it. You know, you can take your time, guys. You can use thinner brush if you want to. I use the thicker one. But if you want a thin line, you could do the thin brush. You could do the thick brush. Everybody's different. We're all different people. We all have different ideas. Okay, so like I like to say, there's no really wrong way to do art. Art is just fun to me. Some people get take it too serious and they get upset, and you know, especially kids, they cry and stuff. You know, oh, it's not right, or they get frustrated. So then I would say to the parents out there, if the kids get frustrated, you just say, hey, it's fun. Just you know, relax. Sometimes they need to uh, take a break. You know, come back to it, but you know, it's all how you uh, perceive, perception is everything, right? How you perceive things to be. Sometimes we make it harder than it has to be, especially children are very hard on themselves. So, keep that in mind as a parent. If you want your child to be into the arts, you know, take them to an art class, your local rec centers. They have them. I know now they take a lot of art out of the schools, too. Okay, so now we're going to, I think I'm going to get my thinner brush right here, okay? And what I'm going to do is take this blue, see the blue right here? And I think I'm going to apply the baby blue. So I'm going to put that on the outer part of the, of the B, okay? Now, I'm just holding this up for you guys. When you do it, you're just going to keep it flat on a flat surface and do it. But I'm just doing this so you get the idea of the bee. And then I think I might have to do another coat of it too, guys. I may have to go in and do another coat. So I'm going to lay it down flat. <clears throat> Let's tilt it here so you can see me doing it. Let's do it this way. I think it'd be better so you can see. All right. And now, let's 
not working. Okay. Let's do it like that. That's better. Okay. And you're just basically going over the edge with your brush. The very edge. And it's kind of thinner paint than I thought. So with a thicker colors, thicker paint, it's a little easier. But you could get the idea of what it is. Like that. Okay, and I'm just going to keep doing the edge. Again. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. Let's put it this way. There we go. I'm just going around the edges. Now if you can see it. Let's see, am I doing it? Yeah, there we go. That's better like that. Like I say, you can take your time with it. You know, you can make it thicker. You can make it a little thinner if you want to. Just going around the edges. Because these are the colors she wanted. She wanted the blue, which I thought she picked beautiful colors. The blue and green is something a little different, you know. So often you see blue, 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 or pink, pink, pink. <laughs> so I think it's nice to have the green in there. There you go. Okay. And basically you're just going to... I hope you have a good picture of that. Okay. And basically you're just going to go around the edge and then add a little spice. I'm not going to complete that because it's going to take too long. But I will show you how to do the little, um, the gold I have, okay? So now I'm going to get the gold paint. Oops. Right here. Here's the gold, okay? So I like to work with an art palette, okay? So it's just easier to have it on a palette. And it's a professional way to do things. If, you know, you dip it in. You never put your brush inside of the container because what will happen is it's going to get polluted it might get a different color in there you know you don't want to, you want to save your paint and always respect your equipment I always teach the kids that respect your equipment okay so now we got the gold okay and what I'm going to do with the gold is just put maybe a thin line on the back part of the B thin gold on the back part here and go straight down the back right here see I'm just gonna go just straight just now this is where the masking tape will come in handy you put the masking tape down it makes a totally straight line for you okay so this is metallic gold right here Let's say I might have to go over. If you have to thicken it up, that's fine. What I tell people, though, is just wait until it dries to go back the second time. Because if you go back when it's wet, it's just not going to, um, it's not going to make the difference that you want it to. You know, it's going to not going to be as dark. So you go through. This is our first line. And then once it dries, I'm going to go back in. And again okay so that's my tip for today and this is the baby letters okay so we're going to do all of our letters I'm just doing the B so you can see if you want to add little like I say a pizzazz at the end I do have this which is uh, just regular glitter glue okay and you can add little what I was imagining little dots would be nice, you know, like little dots. Or you could write what you could write the child's name on the inside if you want to. Josiah, his name is going to be Josiah. So um, what I'm going to do though, let's see. I think I'll just do a few little glitter dots here. Oh, okay, there we go. And I'm going to show you guys once this gets done. Okay. And. Let's show you, show you my little, my little bee. There we go. See? 
See how it is? It's a, got the little dots, the little glitter dots on it. Okay. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I did it quick. <laughs> so, I don't want to take your time up, but I want to show you the right thing. And another important thing is always cover your tables with the newspaper. Okay. Newspaper, water, palette, paint brushes and equipment always try to recycle also with your palette here's the palette okay so that's a recycle thing right there all right well peace love and pit bulls hope you enjoyed the video okay be kind and have fun with the art okay thank you